Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today we're going to turn this basketball 2D logo into 3D animation, like this. Okay, it's the same logo. Let me play again. Okay, so we're going to create this by using uh, Adobe After Effects. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so first, uh, please download this uh, basketball file uh, from the link I provided. This is the other transparent PNG file. And if you want to learn how to make this logo in Adobe Illustrator, like this. So this is the original file. I made a link to this tutorial uh, so you can make this uh, basketball logo in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so first uh, we have this file and now open Adobe Animate, oh, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> Adobe After Effects. We're going to create a new project. Okay, now I open the new Adobe After Effects uh, file and a new composition. So I'm going to keep the 1280 by 720 uh, and then I'm not going to change and duration. I'm going to set to a five second. Yep, five second. And the background color, it really doesn't matter. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep the black background. Okay. All right, now go to file, import file. Please import that basketball logo.png drag and drop to your composition somewhere in the center okay now once you have this select your uh, your logo and then in your uh, effects panel effects and presets please find shutter see the shutter drag and drop to your logo it will open the uh, your effects controls panel on your left and then on the view option, I'm going to change it to rendered. Okay, now go to shape. And the shape, the pattern from the bricks to custom. So your logo is gone. And on, right underneath it, custom share map from none to basketball logo. So it's back. Okay, now go to force number one. Since we're not going to uh, move this at all, so set everything to zero. We're just going to rotate it. Okay. Now, I'm opening the camera position. In Y rotation, I'm going to rotate it just a little bit so I can view the side view. I can have a side view like this. Then go up. You see the under shape here. You see the extrusion depth. I'm going to increase it maybe up to about this much. Okay. Good. Then now go to texture. Texture. And then let me change the side mode from layer to color. See, so we have a, a thickness. Now scroll down. I'm going to change the lighting options. Lighting options. Uh, light type. From the distant source to first composition light. Now go down, scroll all the way down. You see the ambient light. I'm going to increase it until I have a better looking, better view on my logo. So it looks good. Then scroll up under texture. You see the color. This. Click on there. And then change the color for the side. Maybe I'm going to keep pick something in blue. Something like that. And say OK. Now we're ready to rotate it. We're going to rotate the camera. So under camera position, we remember that we change this angle so we can view the uh, side view. Set to zero. So no angle. Then at the very beginning here, 
Y rotation stopwatch. Insert the keyframe by clicking on this the other stopwatch at the beginning. And at the end, 5 second mark, I'm going to change the angle 359 because uh, the perfect circle is the 360, so 1 degree less. So it will just keep looping. Then return, we're done. Hit the space bar. See? Basketball. Logo is 3D and it is rotating. Like that. Okay. So once you're done, I'm going to save it first as the other After Effects project file. Uh, I'm going to save it as a basketball. And then go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Okay, my output destination, I'm going to save into my folder. Um, I'm going to save as a basketball. MP4 file. Save it. And make sure, click here. Uh, I'm not going to change anything. Make sure your format is the H.264. That's the, um, the file format for the MP4, the web streaming file. Okay, and render. It's going to be quick. Okay, so let me check. Basketball MP4. See, it is much smoother. Basketball. Okay, so that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and that you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching. See you next time.